Oh my god. I didn't see this coming all my freaking life. <laughs> Mm -hmm. He couldn't help. Okay, he told me that he could give me some eye drops, but they are temporary things. So before I got them lenses, so you just go to the what is basement? Yeah, basement. I hope she opened today. So this is it, guys. It's. Hey besties, today is on a Sunday and I am going to the hospital. You guys, for the past like three weeks, if you've noticed, I've been so inconsistent on YouTube than usual and I've just been having migraines. I don't really want to make this channel somewhere where I come to complain, but I've not been okay for quite a long time. Three weeks to three to four weeks, yeah. Today, I've just decided that I want to go to the hospital because it seems like these are just not normal migraines. I have tried staying away from my phone, my computer, my everything because I thought that it might be that screen, you know, those hours I spend on the screen. I'm not ready for all this struggle. Let me just go to a hospital. There's a private hospital nearby where they rushed me when I had a burn. That's where I'm going. I'm just going for a blood test and everything. I just want to be okay for me and for people who love me. And for my job okay guys okay yes okay so guys it's a blood test being done here so basically i'm here waiting for an injection plus some medicine so you see i've done so well to just come because i have low bp and i am anemic but yeah i am going to have an injection and then from tomorrow i'll start taking medicine oh my god you guys, I can't believe I'm back here. I was here crying on this bed when I had a burn. <laughs> oh my god. So guys, of course we are looking for blood. So I'm here to collect my ini. It's called liver and I just remembered I have a lot of veggies in the house. I wonder like how did this get me? It's just so weird. You need more your kidney. Kidney. Uh uh. Nipe my kidney basi. So, Nisawa Nikati, eh? Hey besties, I'm already home and I've just prepared a lot of veggies and some. I want to take this before taking the medicine and I'll keep updating you guys. You guys, I'm really trying to eat beetroots and I'd love to blend it in a pineapple juice. 
so <laughs> i've ordered from a motorbike guy and this is what he's found after an hour of searching around where i stay can you imagine so what's this <laughs> But anyway, I'll do with this as I wait because he has promised to bring me fresh ones in the evening and more. I didn't just want two, I wanted more than this. Hey besties! you're welcome for your art please i beg you <laughs> i've made this one my art and it's actually not mine my friend already bought it but he hasn't just gotten time to come and pick it but it's not mine hey besties how are you people doing so what is today today is on a wednesday yeah today is on a wednesday and i'm feeling so much better guys it's afternoon actually i think it's one one something p.m and yeah i just said i should pass by and update you guys on how i'm doing the headache is on and off i'll say okay the whole of yesterday i didn't experience any single headache but today in the morning i had some little little you know but around two hours ago from two hours ago i've been feeling okay so um, this is customer service week i feel i feel the urge to give out something that will be my course i want to offer two of you guys um a free entry to my course and also i want to give away one painting one wall painting to one of you guys and i'm just so excited i'm gonna be posting it on my instagram later today uh so um actually i am working on canva i am designing the flyer or is it a poster to that particular you know that particular post like putting it out there so i'm going to do this and then maybe i'll see you guys later if i can if you found the one you should never give her up Tomorrow I want my house to be cleaned. Where is Jig? This size. Although I wanted to buy fruits, I decided to reach here and buy some cleaning necessities. So guys, I'm done uh, buying some few things, so I just want to stroll slowly to home. <laughs> it's still five, five something, yeah, so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, I've been forced to talk, so I need to talk. So, I'm in the salon and I'll be attaching, by the way, the number of this salon here on the screen you guys noticed that i loved my previous upgrades and i'm also loving these um lines giving the contacts here on the screen so that in case any of you need the services you're welcome 
Good morning from my end. Um, when is today? Today is on a Friday. Yeah, today is on a Friday. What date? What's the date today? Should be on a 9th. Yeah, it should be on a 9th. I have an appointment with an optometrist. Oh my god, I think my, my motorbike is here. Umefika? I went to the hospital. You guys already know that I was uh, I've, I've been taking anemic meds, which is okay So I've been taking my medicine, but I still had the headache and it was Mostly behind my eyes. So I was told to go visit an optometrist and that's exactly what I'm doing I've been given some meds some drips that have been you know using on my eyes, but Nothing is changing, so I want to get things straight because this is becoming so painful. I can't handle it. I am late. I don't know if I'm going to show you my outfit. I'm putting on this my Ankara top, just that I've not belted it. I've just left it free. Blue trouser and some sandals. So let me go, guys, and make sure to update you even during the day. Okay. If you found the one, you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry. Why is my mask combo? But yeah. Don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take a hit and still finish it. So guys, it's sad that the only solution, permanent solution to my problem is getting lenses. Even though I don't want to get lenses that will announce to everyone that I have an eye issue. So they have recommended me to another optical shop where I can get frames of my choice. Yeah, so I'm just heading there and I'll see you guys. I'm actually seeing blurry, but I know this is the lens of my phone. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to another a different optical shop to look for at least cuter frames. This dog, cause he's so good. Like the headache has completely gone away. Like oh my god, guys, health is so important. So yeah, I'm going to buy the frames elsewhere, and then I'll come back here and get the lenses from here from my from someone who understands, you know, what I'm um, going through better. Okay, talk to you later. This is Prime Plaza. Yeah, this is Prime Plaza. I don't know which floor. I'll confirm and then I'll let you guys know. Second floor. Second floor? Room 3? Room 311. Yeah. They have quite cute, not even quite cute, cute frames for first timers. Those of you who like want friends or want lenses but then you don't want to look like uh, you are telling everyone that you have an eye issue like honestly this is the hardest part i'm facing so i think i'll go with this they look like uh you're just wearing them for something else not for medical stuff so yeah you can check them out by the way prime plaza second floor room 311 they have a variety okay so these are their cases okay, they okay. have colored ones for those of you who love yeah. colors and they also okay. have black ones of course i'm going with okay, black okay. and a neutral somewhere mm. this is what I have. so guys i've gotten my friends so now that i'm in prime plaza you guys remember the brand that wanted to dress me they are, they, are, they, are, they are located here in Prime Plaza. I'm supposed to do fittings, 
but I've been sick. I've not been able to come and do fittings. So let me just say hi to my friend, Masi, the CEO of that brand. As I even tell you the shop number. So this is Prime Plaza, okay? Yeah. So you just go to the what is basement, yeah, basement. I hope she opened today. Hmm, here they usually sell cute, cute, cute gomas. Pass through this corridor. Oh, she's open. Oh my god. <laughs> So yeah, it's um so this is it guys. It's called but look at that. I'm proud of this girl, and this girl is so young by the way. Hmm. Wow. Hi, Hi people. Oh my god. Look at this guys. Look at this. My goodness, this is so cute. Look at that crop top. So cute. Yeah. Look at this dress. So guys, I am done. I'm getting out of this place to go to NHIF, guys. I am going to apply for an NHIF card because, by the way, I can't do this. I have used a lot of money. Like, this one hit me so hard. I know I'll tell you this several times. I can barely see. That's the truth. Like, I'm seeing, but I'm not seeing as clear. So I'm going to NHIF house. To apply for a NIF card, I've used guys. I've used a lot of money than I expected. Like in a day, in hours, can't do this. I'm going to apply for. So I'm saying I can't do this. I have to apply for a NIF card because at this point it's very very important to me. So yeah, as usual, I'm vlogging in the streets of Nakuru because I want them to normalize this. As I head to the NIF Sasa. Nipeleke ni chaye fata. I can't see shit. I can't see shit. What am I even vlogging? Can barely see shit. Where do I go through? There? Or here? I guess there? Hey, Sasa. Ana chaye frangia pa mauko. Enda ile ile. Ab uko? Ndiye, ndiye kona. Ndiye, black. Okay. So besties, I'm here. The social distancing is so so. See those chairs, see how they are, they've been spaced. But I'm excited. It's 
just high time I accept that I'm an adult and take care of myself and be responsible enough. So let me just do this. It's better, it's way better to pay 500 bob per... Oh, I'm sorry, I focus so much on that man. It's so much better to pay 500 bob per month without even... You can't even notice. Come on, Mimi, I'm in Chamas where I pay 4K in a month and I don't even notice. So it's easier to pay 500 bob per month and get help whenever and get help whenever you know it's urgent or something than just coming to a hospital and then spending like once it pains me it's still paining me i'm almost there Yeah, I'm going to pay. For yourself? Yeah. So Dell Star 155 Carter. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Dell Star 155 Carter. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to register yourself. Uh mm huh. -hmm. After you do the registration, you'll be able to pay your monthly premiums for the next three months. Uh huh. I'll give you number 200 222. Okay. You pay 1500. Mm hmm. The card will be active after two months. After two months. Uh -huh. So you get an SMS with this SMS of 222, you will be told to pay. So you just pay it to me. Okay. And then the card? Once you start issuing cards on your account, that's again, it will inform you people should come. Okay. That will be how long or? You don't know when? Yes. You don't know Yeah. True. Nini Likos? As in, Nini Likos, what cost Zikakwa withheld Kwanza? They actually they are not withheld. They are getting the material to come out of the Okay. Okay. But you can access our videos in that way. Okay. Thank you. Can I give you a sanitizer? No. What? Thank you. <laughs> You guys, can you imagine? I've been given a free sanitizer and two candies. I feel so good. <laughs> good morning, besties. How are you people doing? Today's on a Saturday. This video is likely to go up on a Monday, but today's on a Saturday of 10th. Yeah. So this morning I'm feeling well and I'd love to let you guys know about something. I feel like I've been vlogging so unsteadily so that I might have confused you somewhere in between the vlog. But now that today I'm feeling so much better, I am in the best position to just sit down and update you guys on what exactly has been happening and up to now how it has ended up and how the situation is right now i'm also just picking my groundnuts hmm? <laughs> groundnuts <laughs> i want to oven roast them for breakfast let me just tell you guys everything that has been happening let me just update you in short so um on the fourth on the 4th, just this month, yeah, on the 4th, I went to the hospital after like three weeks of having on and off headaches, like severe headaches. And most of the headache was behind my eyes. Like the headache was just around and mostly behind my eyes. I could feel like my eyeballs were coming out of the socket. The problem with me is that I usually take so much time to accept something i go through denial stages before coming to a conclusion that i am suffering for example if i have a headache i'll try going to a pharmacy uh, seeking consultations in pharmacies instead of just going to the hospital or just checking out with a specialist and let me tell you guys that thing wastes money a lot of money don't do that immediately you feel like 
you are having uh, problems with your health, just go visit a specialist. You'll feel like you've spent so much money then, but you'll have uh, saved this little, little piled up money that you go to buy medicine in a pharmacy or something. I'm not cancelling pharmacies. Pharmacies, they know what they are doing for sure. So yeah, um, I went to the hospital and uh, I did a full blood test because at that point I was like, I'm done. And uh, it came out that I had anemia. My BP was low. It was at 11. The normal BP should be at 12 to, I don't know, 14 or 13. I am not sure. But yeah, it was slightly low at 11. I had two injections and then I came home with a lot, a lot, a lot of medicine to take, which I'm still taking. And four days later, I don't know if it's, it, it's three or four days later, which is now yesterday, the day before yesterday, the day I had my hair done, I woke up with so much headache again and now I decided to go back to the same hospital and just check out like and just like just update them on how I'm doing because I wasn't doing well at all at all so I went there I found the doctor I talked to him I explained to him how I'm not even improving my headache is just there and right now the what I'm suffering even the most is my eyes i am struggling to see and guys i was struggling to see like just looking like this i wanted to close my eyes most of the times because opening them was so so uncomfortable so the doctor did some eye tests on me i think he also suspected as soon as i told him how i had nothing had changed and how I, I was feeling around my eyes he did some eye tests although he he isn't really an optometrist but he just of course those people go through a variety of like you see when you're in campus during maybe some years you get to learn yeah, like you get to expand on what you learn for you not only learn what you are taught in your department but you also go out to learn some basic things in other uh, departments of that same faculty such a thing yeah so i know these people have been taught uh, the basics of their eyes of course so he told me you know what just see an optometrist you need to see an optometrist and just check with him so i came back home i didn't come back home i went to the salon to make my hair because i i was so i was somehow depressed for some hours and i didn't want to come back home i was so so much stressed up you guys i really am not a fan of eyeglasses let me just tell you something my mom puts on eyeglasses my sister at some point um in primary she put on glasses and she just dumped them at some point and right now on and off she put them on because she can't just delete i didn't see this coming all my freaking life i went to the salon and then i came back home yesterday now very early in the morning i prepared i had already booked an appointment with an ophthalmologist i did that the previous night because i knew the next day i needed help because guys i as i tell as i'm telling you i couldn't i couldn't take the pain anymore I couldn't I couldn't watch YouTube videos I couldn't answer my emails I, I just didn't want to see my phone my laptop the light around me and so on so uh, I went to town and I went to this most recommended uh, ophthalmologist uh, his name is dr. Kip Korir and she, at she he is located at gatehouse in town near equity uh get house uh fourth floor room number 400 if i'm not wrong i'm not sure he is an old man uh the moment i set my eyes on him i knew that i was going to get help and even as soon as i posted my photos in his office 
I think I got like two immediate replies of people telling me you are in good hands, Dr. Kip Korea. That doesn't even take chances. Someone even said that he is their family eye doctor. You guys know that sometimes eye problem can run through genes. It can be genetic actually. So yeah, when she told me that he is their eye family doctor, I knew that she was she, she was right. I know these things, how they go sometimes. Okay, when I went in there, the first thing I begged him is that if possible, if possible, if possible, if I could get treatment without putting on glasses, I would really, really appreciate. I went through his machines. He tried to check my eyes. He rechecked. He even dilated my eyeballs. He rechecked. He tested my readings. I could read clearly, clearly until my eyes, of course, were dilated. I could see two letters per letter and stuff like everything was blurry and i couldn't even see now i could see things i can see that this is a flower but like i can't see clearly but i could read like when it came to testing whether or not i can read he tested and I could read. And even myself I know that clearly I can read. Gosh I don't want this video to go for so long. <coughs> So after everything was done, uh, Dr. Kiporir told me that I was suffering visual fatigue. Yeah, visual fatigue. He told me that uh, my eyes have been struggling so much to focus on close objects, especially. And uh, I needed lens, like it was, he couldn't help. Okay, he told me that... He could give me some eye drops, but they are temporary. And he told me if you need something that is permanent on relaxing your eye muscles, because they are really, really struggling, you need to get lenses. And then as you keep using them, they will relax the muscles and then everything will come back to normal with time. And then in the future, we can see if you can stop using them. Or not but these ones are to help me like they increase the power to just be able to see or to focus on near objects for longer hours and my lenses are actually single lenses they are relaxed lenses so they just help me to relax the eye muscle so that I can focus on my work because I, I explain to him everything. I work for longer hours on my laptop. Because guys, I don't really have any other job. I fully, fully work online. You know, editing videos for longer hours, especially in the night. So he told me to use these lenses for as long as I'm using my eyes um, to see anything. Anything. As long as I'm using my eyes, I should have these lenses on. As long as like I'm just focusing on something so before I got them lenses uh, what happened is that Nikiangalia Twivi my eyes feel some pressure like they just feel some some type of pressure like I just feel like they are struggling to just see imagine guys just seeing like just looking just looking at this sanitizer just just seeing generally was painful so Right now, the headache has really gone. Unless Nikitoive the lenses, for maybe five minutes, I can feel the headache trying to come back, but not, not as intense as it was. So I'm so thankful. Um, you guys, uh, let me end this video here. Please, please, please try to be very, very uh, careful with whatever you're going to comment today especially about my eyes because this is a very sensitive topic and uh yeah you guys you you know you guys are human and you know how sensitive this can be because eyes are a very very sensitive part of the body let me see in my next one bye mm -hmm.